Okay gang, this is Alex again, and I thought we would do a video on, not lock picking, but just kind of a cool lock. Um, what I have here for you is an SMG Series 4400 safe deposit lock. This is the kind you'd find in a bank, safe deposit box. Um, you can see all the UL endorsements and so forth on the back. Now, this is an interesting lock for a couple of reasons. In many ways it is a high security lock, and in many ways it's not. Let me just show you the operation of it. So this works uh, with two keys. This key is called the guard key. You can see that. There we are. Okay. So this is the key that the the bank manager or the security guard would have, and he puts that in here or she and rotates it. And I don't know if you. There it is. You can actually see the levers inside here. You see there they are in the down position. And there they are. And that clears the way for this little gate, or this little stub to go through the gates in there. So the guard comes in, puts his key in. And then you come along with what's called the renter key. Okay. And you would put that inside here. And you turn it. And you can see the gates go up right in there. And then if you keep turning it, assuming it's a correct key, it retracts the bolt. And then you could open your box and get all your fun stuff out. Okay. So these little windows I think are to help when the locksmith is combinating the lock. Now what's interesting is if we go back to the guard key, the uh, guard key now you can see that the stump is retracted into the um, the gates of this lock key. I'm sorry, the gates of this lock. The guard now can come and take his key away and then leave you alone to go pull your box out and do what you need to do. And when you come back to lock your lock it up, you close the door, pull that, and you can see those levers drop down as do the guards levers. You can see these levers are made out of brass. They come in different sizes. They have numbers on them and those correspond to the various bidding depths on the key. There's a key. Okay. So you can see here that for example I think that first cut, well, that cut there is something like a 4 or 6, right, so that would be this one. And you can see that the gate is higher, and then on a lower cut, which would be like, say so this, this one here, um, would be a 2. And what happens is that the key, as it rotates, pushes these guys up. In the lock, they'd be oriented this way. It pushes this up until the gate aligns with the stump. Okay. Now, another interesting thing, this is a very heavy spring for a lever lock. When you see these things in a, a British uh, door lock, BS lock, um, normally this is a very fine piece of like copper bronze wire. This is actually made out of the same brass as the rest of this, and this is actually a very high tension. So when you're, if you're trying to pick it, it's actually you have to apply quite a lot of force. Now let's see what's inside this little guy. There we are. So I'm focus. Okay. So there's two screws, and while I'm doing this, I'll note something. Uh, on one hand, this is a high security lock. If you see these, when we look inside, you'll see that these levers have all sorts of little notches on them that try to make it very difficult to pick. The lock. But on the other hand, 
there are only two parts of this lock that are made out of steel. And that are, those are these two screws that I'm removing at the moment. Okay. I don't know where my little magnets went, but um, the remainder of this lock is made out of brass and what I assume is some type of zinc alloy. And I'm going to very carefully remove this cover here, if I can, to try to not disturb the innards of this thing. Okay. Now we can see what's going on inside a little better. So this is just the cover plate. Okay, now let me zoom back in a little bit for you. You get a good view. Okay, I'm gonna take this piece off. This is just like a little escutcheon key guide. Okay, and you can see the lever pack in here. And you can see that <laughs> they're really strong as the key operates on it. So for example, as the key operates on this lever, it comes up and hits the gate. Now, let's zoom in and see if we can see something cool about this gate. Um, if you look very carefully in here, you will see that there are actually little serrations. You can hear them as I rub this pick over them. Those little serrations like to grab in these little serrations here. And those are all like little false gates for you to make it harder to pick um, things. So if I put this back in, without breaking everything, and I put the guard key in, and I operate it gently, you should see is that all of those gates line up. This would be perpendicular, obviously. Okay, and the renter key works the same way. So again, a lot of high security features, in many ways higher security than even your British spec locks that you see some of the guys, very talented guys online, picking. Um, in other ways, pretty lame because all you'd need is a you know, standard metal drill, um, drill out the stumps and you're done, right? Now obviously in situ, and you can remember we were looking through these little holes here to see the gates. There would be a, the door of the lock would actually be here, right? So I don't know if these little be, would be flush, but they'd be pretty close, right? But the door of the, this, of the little vault would be blocking these so you couldn't see them. So, but why would they do this? You have a, a very high security lock in many ways, the way that the levers are designed, and in other ways, a very weakly constructed lock. And the reason, of course, is that this lock is located inside of a vault um, in the bank, um, the vault providing the, the uh, primary protection. And really, um, all these security features are just to make it hard to maybe get into someone else's lock while no one else is, or uh, safe deposit box while no one else is looking. Um, but uh, they don't really provide a whole lot of protection against forcible entry, but covert entry, certainly they do. There he goes. You can see the bidding. You can see how narrow these little, these little uh, things are. And you can actually see that the bellies are relieved and part of what that does you can see on this older one this was the one that had all that green stuff on the back you can see that the um, if we tilt very slightly here and get that really sharp for you there you go you can see all the striations on here this thing is actually relieved slightly and so most of the wear of the key gets transmitted up here instead of on the belly itself. You can see here that there's almost no wear on the belly itself. Why is this important? It's another security feature. We're going to stick a camera inside the lock and inspect the bellies. You would not be able to determine the bidding by the wear patterns on there because you wouldn't be able to see them very easily. So again, that's a security feature. Anyhow, not a picking video, 
So anyway, this is Alex. Uh, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And um, please keep it legal. Cheers.